everybody. I'm Ellie. Um, I'm doing my first YouTube clip today um, as uh, I was inspired by my friend over in Netherlands, uh, Kaya, uh, Kyra Pace. So hi Kyra. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, some work in my art journal uh, that Kyra inspires me to do. Um, and I'm going to be doing an embossed background using my embossing powder. So the tools that I'm using today is my heat gun. Um, I've got some distressed ink here. Um, so I've got mowed lawn and I've got salty ocean. Um, I've got my own handmade embossing powder buddy, um, which is just made of an old stocking filled with baby powder. Um, I have some embossing super fine powder um, by Ranger, so I buy that in bulk because I do like embossing. I have my Versamark ink and of course I have my art journal. So to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to get the embossing buddy. I'll just move all these out of the way. So I've got my embossing buddy here. Now I'm going to rub this all over my page and what that is going to do, it's going to um, not let the powder stick where I don't want it to stick. Okay, so in other words, because I'm using a background stamp, so it's, this is a Heidi Swap background stamp and you can see it's on this side here, I've already done this side. Okay. So now I've um, prepped my page, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the backing off the stamp. So I leave the, um, the stamp actually stuck to the front of the plastic. Okay, and I'm going to use the Versamark ink and I'm going to put that all over this stamp. Just like that, so it's all nice and sticky and then what I'm going to do I'll grab my book here my journal and I'm going to stick that straight onto my page like so now I'm gonna press down on that now um, just so all the Versamark gets down on the page where I want it to get down so now that bit there's done. So I've got this little bit here to do. So I'm just going to just do half of the stamp like so. And I'll stick that down like that. Being careful not to touch the top bit up here. Just like so. Right. So now I've done that. I just grab a piece of uh, photocopy paper and I'm just going to stick that just underneath, just there. And I'm going to get my Ranger's um, embossing powder and I'm just going to just pour that on there now so as I slip that out I'll just lift the book up and you can probably see the powder will actually slip down onto the rest of the embossed page I just give it a really good tap there so I'll just put this away because uh, we can reuse that okay so now I'm going to use my heat gun and heat set the embossing powder so this uh, I'll speed this little part up I'll see you soon okay now that's all done so we have heat set so I'll just wait for it to just cool so you should be able to see, see a little bit of a shine there. So this is where the magic is going to happen. So 
I'll get my blank sheet of paper again. Now what I'm going to do with the um, distressing, just got a bit of hide that down. Okay, so I'm gonna make a two-tone because uh, I've decided I'm going to use um, my crazy birds and cats and dogs on this um, this part. I absolutely love my crazy animals. So I'm going to go for a bit of a blotchy um, effect that you'll see the magic happen. So watch this. Isn't that cool? I just want a little bit darker up the top there. And when you do an art journal, you can do, you know, whatever you want in your art journal because it's yours. So, uh, as I mentioned before, I've um, got my inspiration from um, Kyra Pace. Um, check her uh, YouTube channel out. I'll um, link that down below. Uh, she's Simply Creative Kyra. Um, and, yeah, so she's uh, encouraged me to do my first um, video here. So, okay. So I think that's um, sort of the effect that I'm getting for that one. So that one was the um, Salty Ocean. Now I'm going to use some uh, mowed lawn for my grass so my crazy animals can sit on it. And just by blending over creates the uh, effect of um, some grass and also it uh, brings out that beautiful embossing um, of this stamp. I just think it's absolutely just magic. Now, once I've done that, I just get a microcloth and I just wipe all over this. Now what that does is gets any excess um, distress ink off. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, just take that out. I'm just going to heat set this or just, just for a second. There you go. So there's my background. You can use any cling stamp, any rubber stamp um, on. Um, as I mentioned, I use the Ranger um, Superfine uh, Powder, Ranger uh, Clear. Um, but you could probably do this with any colour. So um, give it a go and uh, see what sort of uh, effects that you get. Um, thanks for watching and um, have a great day. Happy crafting. Bye.